give him the ass to the whole flooding of information. Okay, yeah, so when, when I was on acid, bro, it was kind of crazy because it was like my senses and everything I was thinking about was heightened. You know, yeah. it was heightened to, to points where, like, I was like, oh shit, is this even really happening? You know, is this reality? Cause am I about to go on a bad trip? Is it about to be a good trip? Like, what's going on? Like, I can feel change in every molecule of my body. So then, it's like when I started thinking about things, it was like things that I would have never thought of, you know, if I was just going throughout life on an everyday routine. Yeah. So... <laughs> So my subconscious, it was like my subconscious and my consciousness were combining, you know what I'm saying? Synced up. Yeah. Synced up. Everything, yeah, like everything I, did, I wouldn't normally notice, I noticed. You know, and things that I wouldn't think about that are just far out of this world, I thought about. I couldn't tell you what those things are because it was so much, you know? Yeah. That's awesome. It's like that's why when you I look at lights, I never taken acid. I've taken mushrooms, but uh, I've heard DMTs like that. It's like it's like the craziest shit. And if you take like you have to take like three hits of it to really set yourself on that. Yeah. 15, 20 minutes, <clears throat> I never trip. I never did DMT, but yeah, I heard that. Like, listening takes... to Mike Tyson talk about it though, he's like, man, I did that shit like a few times now. Shit, he's, <laughs> he's like so open minded about shit now. Wait, he's changed. done that shit. Oh, yeah. He's, he's changed like, his he's perspective. Like, yeah, he's like, yo, when I was on that DMT, I couldn't even tell you the, the amount of, you know, feelings it had on me. Like, bro, yeah, it changes your like perspective of saying, everything. Yeah. All that fucking You know, like, you can become a totally different person just by yeah. the things that you were thinking about on that trip. Like, <clears throat> yeah, he's like, you any drug I would have to just to go up with it. Yeah. <laughs> it was funny, the first time I had anything like acid, I knew it was like a cheap knockoff of it. And my buddy gave me half a tab. It was a real tiny square, and it was half of that. And he was like, bro, I got this tab. And he was like, he looked like he was geeked up. And I was like, oh, shit. You know what you're getting into, bro? He was like, bro, I got another tab. I have a tab. If you want it. And I was like, shit. What is it? He's like, it's like acid, which is different. It's called chemical. And that's the shit that you don't want. But I didn't know that. It was for free. He gave it to me. He was like, bro, you can have it. Not even. It wasn't, it wasn't for days. It was just like one night. But, bro. That shit had me like, oh shit. Yeah. You know, so when I actually had acid after that, it was similar to that, but it was way more intense. And I felt like it was way healthier, but not really because it's a drug the same. Yeah. You know, but it was definitely the, the real thing. I was fucking shit. tripping out, bro. I was listening to Dark Side of the Moon by Pink Floyd, bro. And let me tell you the things that were going on in my heart. I was like, oh my goodness. I need to be a better person because we're all connected in life. Bro, I was thinking some weird shit. Symbiotic. Yeah. I just watched, uh, recently I watched again episode one, The Phantom Menace. Mm -hmm. And when they go to the fucking, what, what's, the, what's his name? Jar Jar Banks. They go yeah, to, they go Jar Jar to, Banks. They go to yeah. his uh, underwater world because yeah. he got banished. And, like, ask the leaders for help. Obi Wan mentions that. He's like, you guys are synced. That's his like symbiote. Relationships with the new people that we have So, one thing happens to them. Yeah, that's for one time I did I did a trip with my friend, right? Her name is Jazz, she's lovely. And she's real like no disrespect, she's tight. You know, she acts she acts she has a lot of male tendencies. Oh yeah. You know? So we went on a trip and we went to her friend's house and they were all tripping too. On the beginning of that trip, I did not feel comfortable, bro. I yeah. felt ill, it was bad, I was like, yo. 
you know, they were all good, and if it wasn't for them, I would have probably went on a worse trip, but I told her, I was like, yo, Jazz, I'm not feeling too well, this trip is not good for me, I need to go home. And like a G, yo, like a good friend, she was like, all right, bet, I got you, I'm coming with you, you know, making sure you're good. And so we dipped out, and I, let me tell you, bro, when I walked out of that house, first of all, when I was in that house, bro, I felt like there was like an energy vampire stealing my energy, bro. It was crazy, bro. I felt like I couldn't leave. I was just staring at the TV, and I was like, oh, no, like, this is bad, yeah. And when you're in that state of mind, bro, with a drug like that, it takes a hold of you, bro. So whatever goes on mentally is what's going on physically. You think you can't move, bro? Bro, you're not moving. Let me tell you. So I was like, yo, I need to get out of here before this shit gets worse. I step outside, bro, and I see the cars passing by on the street. Mind you, it's nighttime. It's like, it's the fog. They look like big ass balls of light just flying across me. And bro, let me tell you, I wanted to, I wanted to touch them. I did it because I knew they were cars, and if I did, I would have probably got whacked. Like, that mental thought in my head kept me there, but I was like, yo! What? Like, it was really big-ass balls of shady-ass, like... Wow. I was like, no fucking way. This is crazy. Like, I knew where I was, I knew what was going on, I knew there were cars. Yeah. But in my mind, I perceived them as big-ass balls of light, and that's what they were, bro. <laughs> I was wow. like, no. I said, yo, Jack, like we got an Uber, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, it was just like, That's just crazy. That'd be fucking trippy. So then we got an Uber back to my place, and we went for a, a burn walk. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Around the park, around my house. So as we were doing that, we were talking, and it was so crazy because the things we were talking about were so similar yeah. to each other, but they were opposite. Polar opposites. I don't know what, man, the discussion that we had was wild. It was an amazing discussion. Though. By the end of it, we started talking about yin and yang. And in that moment, yeah, in that moment, bro, it was like uh, January around the time. It was real cold outside. Yeah, so there was frost everywhere. Bro, when you look down at that frost, you know the patterns that are like in bandanas? Like the yin yang symbol, it was in the frost, bro. Wow. I was like, yang. what? The yin yang symbol and the like different symbols that are on bandanas, yeah, yeah, like yeah. that style. Yeah, the all of the yeah, bro. Size. It was all in the frost. You know when you get the frost, you I've like, seen. Mm -hmm. I've seen some crazy shit before, like the way that yeah, those giant stuff looks like. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, so we were looking up the frost, and I thought it was just. I said, yo, Jazz, I think I'm tripping because this frost, you know what the fuck frost looks like? It looks the same every time, it never changes. But because I was on acid, because I was thinking about it. So then I looked at the frost and I saw it and I was like, yo, the frost looks like so and so. And she looks at it and she's like, yo, and that's what really freaked me up. She saw it. <laughs> I was like, wow. is that like the yin yang shit we were just talking about and like the bandana shit? She was like, yeah. Wow. What? <coughs> 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 I'm so free, we will never